Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Maya here for my channel name is Maya Divination. What I would like to present it here for you today is the deck which arrived only a few moments ago. That's well known possibly as well, Heaven and then Earth Tarot. It's published by Los Carabio. And here we have the deck in the very hard box. It's a magnet. It's kind of like a Llewellyn, uh, Llewellyn uh, boxes. I hope the quality of the cards actually would be much better. I know that this deck is actually, you can buy it, uh, two versions of it. So it would be this one here with the, um, the kind of bigger guidebook. And the second one is kind of a um, box like that, kind of similar to it. And it's, the booklet is much more smaller. And what was really important here for me, it was actually the guidebook as well. I know the quality of the cards are not exactly the same as for from the order. So if you don't care about the, the booklet inside, the other one from what I have seen when it comes to the reviews and them being compared, the other one is much better. Nevertheless, um, what I wanted to do is if I would be, because I really was thinking about this deck for quite a while, if I would decide that it is the great deck and I work to and I work, want to work with it much more, I'll get the other one as well. Because like I said, the quality of the cards are actually, they're much more thicker than this one here. But I hope, because I have seen, I, I got it from Amazon and I have seen um, on Amazon as well, people were not really satisfied with the cards. So this one is a little bit more expensive than the other, which is kind of very interesting because you would prefer to have the money put into the, the deck of cards as well. Nevertheless, I hope it was just maybe some people being, you know, they, they were disappointed, but maybe I won't be. And I hope that's the case. So we have a magnetic open here. That's inside. That's the booklet um, I was talking about. Um, oh, it smells lovely. And I hope it was worth it. Okay, so the book in the book that actually looked slightly bigger on the camera. So I tell you now, it's at 12 uh, centimeters and uh, five milliliters, millimeters uh, wide and it's 15 so okay so we're talking about nearly 20 centi centimeters um tall right just so you know because like on the camera stuff looks much more bigger and so on and then you get it it's like oh <laughs> it was different so what we have here is um so the book was, uh, the concept and art was uh, by, by Jack Sefirov, but the Jamie L. Ford is the one who actually wrote the book, right? So there was a kind of comparison between those two. And it's printed, uh, oh, it was actually, it's October 2022. Okay, so essentially a year ago and in Italy. Just wonder if the, if the cards are as well from Italy. Well, it looks like, yeah, that's nice. Okay, when it comes to the box, um, I don't know, can you see it? Just put maybe a light on, just so you have this. So that's kind of the silvery parts on the... Okay. Okay, there's no need for this light. So anyway, so what we have here when it comes to the book, I'm not going to, okay, so part one, heaven and earth, major arcana suits, okay, but nature of tarot, okay. So we have a few bits and pieces here, full color, isn't it? Okay, that's nice. And do we have some sort of sp some spreads here? Mm -hmm. 
just so what I know is the names on the cards, the keywords, which are in in each uh, minor arcana suits, obviously like they would be different than what we are used to in Rider Roy Smith, even though this deck follows Rider Roy Smith and is as well infused with the Todd Tarot, it actually, as far as I know, the the keywords on the cards from the minor arcana is actually um, implemented from the um, Golden Dawn uh, kind of uh, system there. So just bear in mind that it would not necessarily match what you know about the card. So don't get, don't, don't get discouraged. It's not a mistake, but it's not, as far as I know, well uh, explained in the book. Anyway, so you have a spreads here. And okay, past, present, future, as usual. Where will you go and what uh, do you do need? Eh? Where will you go and what do you need? Okay, for this spread, you can just arrange the cards in the single line and then interpret them in sequ sequ sequence. Where are you in the current moment? What caused this? Where will you go? How you can get how you can get what you need? Okay, so that's just we have those. Okay, that's third spread here. As above, so below. Okay, conclusion here. At the end. Oh, personal notes. Some people don't like it, and I, I do myself because I like to add it when I bought the deck. Not necessarily maybe the price, uh, but uh, I want to add this kind of information to the booklet so I know in the future. So, what we'll do here is we'll just go. Back quickly into it okay so that's it i'm really interested about those cards okay we can out okay so the moment of truth here it, is that really bad quality or not as it has been mentioned in the reviews i hope it's not the case Obviously, cards will be glossy, so they will be very slidey. So that's the cover. Okay, let me see. Okay, as you see, it's very, very glossy. Okay. Hmm. Okay, that's the another card here. Okay. Hmm. Oh. They, they feel like they would like to be a little bit. They are not like, they are not sticking together. So that's not the case. It's just kind of felt like they need a little bit break. Okay, so to be honest, um, it comes to the cards, they're coming back. Mm. Hmm. To see, they are not so bad. I, I was actually worried that would be kind of the Llewellyn kind of type of card. And yeah, 7 by 12. Okay. They really look this. I, I'll just zoom it in just so you can see it, what I'm talking here about. So you see, if you look at the review, right, mostly those cards are really, really zoomed in, which I am going to do. Now, so usually you would expect the cards to be quite big to see. It's not that I have problems seeing the, you know, what's actually written here. So let me see if the, okay. So, okay, so it's not that problem. I have problem with seeing this, but Indeed, some people were complaining the images are small. And by looking at the videos, because since they are all zoomed in, the, the in the real life they look really smaller. But it's it's not so bad, so it's it's all good. Okay, so as you often see, you're getting the reflection from this, but that's the back here anyway. I will be looking with you on this. So in terms of cardstock, it's not so bad. I really worried 
that you know from after reading the video you know the other reviews i was really worried about it but to be honest it's it's okay like i know they, they might get destroyed because that's what people say that after shuffling you know the you know they get destroyed but you know i think i don't know the llewellyn ones are kind of for me like and i have three I have three decks from Llewellyn and unfortunately the quality is not as great at least as this one so it's all good for me here. Because they really look like they are you see the face? They're a bit foggy, yeah? Share it. I absolutely love this Wheel of Fortune. Um, I don't think I have any other card which I would like it as on this. And that was, my, to be honest, is even though it's not the card I look out for, that was the selling point here when it comes to this Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so that's our uh, hangman after having a great gym time. <laughs> This is the funny part of this deck. Those guys are super fish. <laughs> See, the face is very foggy. But you cannot really see eyes here. Okay, this tower here. <laughs> I'm just laughing because on one of the reviews, someone complained about the nipples <laughs> missing <laughs> from from the star star card, um, her body part, the breast, but. Uh, uh, it, they are there, it's just they're <laughs> blurred a little bit. Okay, now I need to have a look on this guy because I was kind of if you okay. So his face here is as well a little bit like blurry. I really like this Ace of Cups. Like you see the six of cups, you would have the pleasure here, right? So you see that pleasure? I think it is. Abundant success. I will agree definitely with this because th that's as well the meaning of the card. Here is material happiness when it comes to nine of cups. Hmm. It's 
slightly, you know, as you know, it's not very typical then. Um, Ryder Waite Smith. Well, it is from the other side, you know, like the, the guy you would have, like John Travolta would have the uh, place behind him, so... Okay, so you have Princess of Cups, Knight of Cups, here we have a Queen, and we have a Nine, a King, sorry. Okay, and then we have Ace of Pentacles. different way here because I don't you have so much reflection maybe that's better oh. yeah. But you see, with even with uh, this card, even if we wouldn't have this uh, the labels below, you would easily be able to recognize which card is which one. So you shouldn't have absolutely any problems with that. And the Ten of Wands, and we have a Princess of Wands. So you see, with the Princess, you could get this heart mixed slightly with the Queen. Although the Queens are actually sitting on the throne, so... And obviously, if you work with the deck, you see here is some... Slightly not the best card, you see, out of the box. Just wonder, will I be able to get rid of it or will I see it? Hmm. So let's see. Hmm. Anyway. Okay, they are all a little bit like that in this corner for me. Those little imperfections. Show you this one here because 
I could never see this on the it's actually you can see the person lying there mm -hmm. okay and then we have a princess of swords knight of swords queen she's really badass and the king okay so that's that way we went through all the cards here as you see here is no gilding whatsoever um which i have no problem with actually and it's just what i want to see do we have a reversal so when we look for example the um lovers in this case so we have an image heavenly interpretations earthly interpretations so we have the keywords hebrew letter correspondences questions yes we have upright and reversed meanings as well that's in earthly interpretations and the questions so i guess the questions would be related to um you know if you do the journal work uh that could come very handy and transformation so that would be for the major arcana and we'll see the minor arcana oh here we go we have two of cups so here we have image have an, heavenly uh, interpretations earth interpretations questions transformations so as well it follows to and we have operate and reverse meaning for that so i guess it's much more better than a small book which you have just two paragraphs maybe add upright reverse and that's it you know it's nice to work with deck a little bit more just so you know you could kind of make your decision if the cards are for you or not yeah so you see i can see those imperfections of that one card here as well showing up when i have my deck like that So, hmm, okay, anyway, what we'll do is maybe we'll just do the very quick shuffle and little spread. Okay, so what we will do here is um, we'll do the very quick shuffle, okay, just, okay, so you see they are quite very slippery in terms of overhand shuffling. But it's not that it's not manageable. Okay. They are a little bit flying in that sense. Okay. So what we will do here is, um, I want to do um, a reading for people who subscribe my channel to say thank you and also for people who accidentally stumble over this video and watching this right now so I'm not doing this for entire collective I'm literally doing this for people who subscribe my channel who are who watching my videos and those people who as well accidentally stumbled over this okay so just bear with me here what we will do is we'll do very quick reading here so it we do it from the booklet from the guidebook here but i will just a little bit change it just so maybe uh, the ring will be slightly easier to kind of very quickly go through it okay so the first card will be um so the spread is here so it says where you are in the current moment okay and then the next one next card i will do where will you go and how can you get what you need Okay. So 
So just bear with me here. I just get this ready here. So where you're at the current moment, where are you going and how you can get what you need. So the person who is people who are watching this in this moment. Okay, so definitely energy of this one is um, we are starting something. We have a hermit, we have a ten of cups, which is for me are really good cards. So we do kind of kind of energy of the inward working, uh, kind of retreating from others, just to go into ourselves to understand ourselves better and to be better to around our families so you know like if, if you someone has this energy of being calm and understanding they work out better in their relationships in their real lives right nevertheless there because of this that will allow us to clear our minds and start something new so that's the energy of this reading for sure so Again, for the people who are my subscribers, which I really appreciate you are here with me, and for those people who stumbled over this, that would be reading for you. So, where you are in your current moment, okay, where you're going, okay, and how you, how can you get what you need, okay, so straight away from this one from this i just zoom it a little bit for you here so what we can see here as i mentioned before of the energy as people working pe person who retreat to be better to understand themselves maybe their faults so if they were struggling with something with some parts of themselves so they retreat from people from outside to kind of insight and to be better to the their community they could just so they can be better to their family members or friends which allow them to start something new that would perfectly reflect this here this card here because the hanged man would so at the current moment some someone who is watching it they try to look this one is kind of by force as well you are somehow you are made to step back and relook your situation over again you need to check at something you need to close your eyes look inside there is something important for you there you need to rethink it before something else will actually make you to rethink it the reason for this is because you want to be better for your partner okay because that would be for you here that message somehow you need to go inward to be better for others who are around you okay and how you how you can get what you need it's you need to possibly that it's a six of cups it's a card of like it says pleasure here again it's not how i would read essentially this card it's kind of memor mem memories the, the memories the past you have so possibly 
if you work out something from your past which bothered you or some something you need to clear in you to be better for your other half or your family or your friend that's how i understand this those cards here so rethink whatever you need to do just so you can understand yourself better okay and that would be where you want to be and that's what i wish you all okay so that's the reading i hope it helped you what i wanted to show here for you as well just <laughs> changing this um from the I, I kind of got into kind of atmosphere here so thank you so much for this reading okay and what we will do here is um as i know myself um when i'm getting the new cards i like to see how they kind of look like okay so just so you can view it like that okay so just so you can see it how they present themselves okay lovely so you see that here another thing which i i actually decided okay i'll show you here maybe it didn't make me happy when it comes to the deck but after this reading here, the cards showed me that they are very easy to read. They, the message is, you know, quite consistent and clear. So what I wanted to show you here, and uh, that's the, you know, the version of the, those cards. You can get them in box like that, like the same as Arcanum, the, the same way that it's opened. That's how normally the booklet, that one inside looks like. So that would be what would you get essentially few lines maybe not so bad but just so you know okay and and as well our kind of lost carveo so i assume that would be the same quality here so that's the arcanum except the extra cards i took them out okay and the same form this deck so you would see the difference and we're talking about nine cards difference here so you see Oh, you don't even want to fell off. So just will get it here. So you see how many cards I'm moving. Just bear me just so to be fair because they need to be straight. Okay. Okay. So they okay okay so now they are not going over so we're talking nine cards one two three four five six seven eight nine cards guys difference in the thickness so just so you know that would be uh maybe the selling point for you okay so uh that's just the little comparison here i hope i didn't forget about anything let me think. Hmm. I think, yeah, I mentioned booklet. I, I mentioned what you have thought inside. You have seen the cards. We did the little reading. So I think I covered everything here for you. So uh, what I can say, um, thank you so much for watching this uh, flip through. If you have any questions about this uh, lovely deck, feel free to ask in, your, in the comments down below. Um, I really appreciate you have uh, spent the time with me to look over those cards and what I wish you here. Have a lovely rest of the day. Okay, take care. Bye.